Okay, I think we're ready to get started. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Major General Tony Corelli. I'm the Adjutant General of Pennsylvania. And it's my great uh, privilege this morning to announce the uh, Pennsylvania, the Keystone State Challenge Academy, the inaugural uh, meeting. We just held a meeting upstairs of the Advisory Council for uh, the Youth Challenge Program of Pennsylvania. Um, the members of that Advisory Council is the uh, representative Stan Saylor, who is now our chairman of the Advisory Council, uh, Senator Mike Regan, Senator Maria Collette, Senator Doug Mastriano, uh, Representative Jake Weekly, Representative Tim O'Neill, um, Secretary Pedro Rivera, the Edu uh, Pennsylvania Department of Education Secretary. Um, also, um, uh, Brigadier General Michael Regan uh, from the Department of Military and Veterans Affairs, as well as Brigadier General Mark Schindler from the Department of uh, Military and Veterans Affairs. All members of this advisory council, we just had the inaugural meeting um, and talked about our timeline, and uh, we're very excited about the program uh, here today. Also, uh, we're thrilled today to have um, a Youth Challenge program from, from Maryland here. Uh, the the uh, honor guard from the Maryland, the actual cadets from their Youth Challenge program are about to uh, present the colors for us here to start the ceremony. But I wanted to read off uh, the names of all the cadets, the, uh, the honor guard members, uh, Cadet Joshua Croxton, Mikhail Minor, Jackson Monroe, Perrin Raymond, and Oscar Sosa. Um, also cadets in, in attendance here, uh, uh, Cadet Christopher Davis, Tyson Extravera Dalton, Grayson Connor, Ethan Clark, Devin Gurdjalabla, and Mohammed Wissoff. Uh, so we appreciate the, uh, the cadets coming from, uh, from Maryland, uh, and, and I, I would encourage all of you, uh, when uh, the remarks are done, to, uh, to, to grab a cadet aside and just ask them about their story. These are just some phenomenal stories, and I'll tell you, we're, we're so much looking forward to have our own stories to tell here in Pennsylvania uh, for, for some of our own youth once we get this program up and operating. I want to thank the Maryland director from their uh, youth challenge, Caroline Dunmire, and also a, a Keith Dickerson for, for making the, uh, the opportunity to bring their cadets out to our uh, ceremony here this morning. Um, at this time, I'd ask the, uh, the cadets from the Maryland Youth Challenge to post the colors. Honor Guard, please post. All right, was that outstanding or what? How about a hand for our cadets? Okay, as I mentioned, we're, we're very excited about this program. Uh, we've, we've, we've been discussing it a long time. Uh, we, we got the legislation done uh, last year, and of course, this, this past uh, budget cycle, we actually got money in the, in the budget to start funding the program. The National Guard accepted this program over the summer, so we have officially became the 40th Youth Challenge program in the, uh, in the United States. As the Adjutant General, I have the opportunity to travel to, to many different states to talk to my uh, fellow Adjutant Generals, and over the last couple of years, I've been asking them specifically about Youth Challenge program. I've taken tours of many of their programs, I've talked to many of their cadets, and I've talked to many of the family members of these cadets. I'll tell you, this, this program, it's, it's a military-based boot camp type environment, but it is a school. It is a school, it's an accredited school, and it's really a, a chance to get some of our youth that have lost their way to get back on track again. Um, it's, it's a well-disciplined program. It, 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 it focuses on every different aspect, nutrition, physical fitness, discipline, academics, um, uh, there's a lot of mentorship. It's a, uh, essentially almost a, a five and a half month 
resident program that will be located on our campus at Fort Indian Town Gap, followed by a year later of uh, mentorship and following uh, to, to help these youth um, uh, assimilate back into, into society. Many of them, you know, they're 16 to 18 years old. Some of them will be getting a uh, high school um, equivalency uh, while they're attending our schools. Others will be getting the academic catch-up that they need to get back into the school wherever they, uh, wherever they lived, wherever their residence was. Um, some, of our, some of our cadets, you know, we have a, a fantastic uh, uh, graduation rate across the country. Many of the cadets go on to do, uh, go to college. Some will go into the military, although this is not meant as a military feeder program. It's not meant to, to bring more people in the military, although some will, will um, really uh, assimilate to the uh, discipline and want to serve in the armed forces. Um, uh, and again, we have a job training program as well, uh, where, where many of these uh, graduates will go on uh, to very successful careers. So we're very excited about having the opportunity to provide this uh, to our youth here in Pennsylvania. Um, it's, it's my privilege now to uh, introduce our new chairman of the Advisory Council, uh, Representative Stan Saylor. Sir. General, uh, thank you so much. Uh, we're very fortunate to have the general. He's a great leader for the Commonwealth and for our National Guard troops. I want to also start out by thanking the governor and the bipartisan uh, House and the Senate for working together. I think so many times here uh, we are accused of fighting all the time. We have Representative Jake Wheatley, Representative Mark Gillum, we have Tim O'Neill. Uh, we worked together in the House and Senate to get this bill passed. I had the opportunity to travel to Maryland and look at their program. Never, never so excited. I, I have to give a lot of credit to uh, Le Lieutenant Colonel O'Shell, who uh, used to work for me many, many years ago. Uh, Don made me aware of this program, and I'm so excited that we have going to start this program here in Pennsylvania. This program, as, as the general talked about, helps our children who are at risk, and it gives them a new start in life. Uh, this program was established in 1933 by the National Guard, and it's pretty much close to a, a traditional school. A little bit different, though, is that it has a military background in it, and uh, it has shown the students in Maryland and Michigan and Illinois and California who have lost their way for any number of reasons. Maybe they dropped out because they, as children, they were growing up in a violent neighborhood, or they were having problems in school with uh, violence. Uh, drugs, whatever it may be, this program uh, has just been a huge success across our nation. Uh, 27 states, including the, the uh, Puerto Rico, have this program. It's a great investment in our youth. The National Guard Youth Ch uh, Challenge Program is going to make a huge impact on Pennsylvania and our children at youth uh, at risk here. And I want to make it clear that the work that has gone into this, the men and women behind me who are going to be doing all the work to put this into place uh, are some of our best here in Pennsylvania and they're going to make a difference in the lives of our children. And I keep saying children and children, young adults, because I think so many times when we talk about education, we talk about dollars and cents, but we don't talk about the children and the lives and the impact that this has on it. 96% of the students who go through this program throughout the nation, 96% go on to higher education, whether it's trade school, sometimes the military, or, or college. That's a big, successful program, and fortunately for us, the federal government has kicked in additional dollars to help in this program. It's a state and a federal cooperation working together to make this program so successful for our youth of our state and our country. Again, I want to thank everybody who has been helpful uh, in getting this done. It was a bipartisan effort when I went down to Maryland to visit their program. Uh, Representative Patty Kim at that time, Senator Kristen Phillips Hill, I believe Senator Regan was with us. Uh, we had uh, a number of other state reps who were along, uh, and I, I missed their names right now and I apologize. Uh, I've asked Representative Wheatley here to uh, be glad to take him down to Maryland to see how this program is. That's what's got me so excited, is when we can find a way to save the lives of our children, who at one way or another have lost their way at some point, uh, this is just going to be a fantastic program, and I want to thank, again, General, 
for your great leadership in Pennsylvania because without your leadership and that of the governor, this program wouldn't exist. So thank you so much. General? Okay, at, at, at this time, uh, to speak on behalf of Senator Mike Regan, uh, his de Executive Director, Nate Silcox. Nate. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, General. I'm here on behalf of Sen uh, State Senator Mike Regan, Chairman of the Senate Veterans Affairs and Emergency Preparedness Committee. It's my honor as the, uh, as the Executive Director of the committee to have uh, played a role in, in the passage of the legislation last session, but more importantly now, under Senator Regan here to, to play a part in the implementation of the, the Keystone State Challenge. And as uh, Chairman Saylor just mentioned, um, the Maryland's Free State Challenge, um, take my hat off to, the, to all the cadets here from, from that program. We traveled down there. It was amazing to see their program. And it's, this program is all about reclaiming lives. And as Chairman Saylor said, 96% go into higher education. By all standards, by all measures, um, not just at Maryland, but across the nation. At the, this Pennsylvania will be the 40th site across the nation. So this program has been implemented across the nation. It's, been, it's succeeded across the nation, and we're looking forward to its implementation here in Pennsylvania. So it's my, um, my honor to uh, continue to play a role here with Senator Regan, and as uh, General Crowley said, Senator Mastriano and Senator Collette will also be part of the advisory board. So thank you, General. Okay, thank you, Nate. And at this time, I'd like uh, Representative Mark Gillen to, to come up and make a few remarks. Thank you very much, General Corelli. Is, uh, I was standing there uh, reflecting on uh, my relationship with this group behind me. This program is as much about mentoring as anything else. Look at the fine example of General Corelli or Reagan or Command Sergeant Major Buchanan. In fact, if you go completely through the program, you'll be as big and strong as that gentleman right there. <laughs> if you get up at 4.30 in the morning to work out, he claims he's working out at 4.30 in the morning, last time I chatted with him. Um, I was driving uh, back home from the Capitol last night. Uh, the session ran rather late into the evening, and uh, I got a phone call from uh, a friend who is at Colonel Jacob Morgan, Post 537 uh, in Johanna, an area that I represent. And uh, I thought there was a connection between that conversation, what I did last night, and what's going on here today. Uh, he asked me to stop by and visit a man who was on hospice. He had been introduced on the floor of the State House of Representatives uh, on one occasion. He was a Marine, he is a Marine who served uh, his country uh, beginning in 1943, he turned 18 years of age. And uh, he was on Higgins Landing Craft in the South Pacific. He was at the, uh, the Inchun Landing with MacArthur. He was surrounded by the Communist Chinese at the Chosin Reservoir. He served all the way up until 1970. He used to drive back and forth into his 90s at Colonel Jacob Morgan uh, Post there in Southern Berks County. And one day he shared with me one of the reasons he kept coming to the Post for camaraderie and fellowship, of course, but he felt like the young men needed his influence. And young women and young men need the influence of these mentors. Uh, Jake Wheatley is a Marine uh, as well. And simply the opportunity, so much has been said, and I don't need to repeat it, but the opportunity to rub elbows with men and women of discipline, of character, and work ethic is essential, not only in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, but all over the nation. And not only is character developed, we don't have the resources to undo some of the damage that is being done culturally. And people talk about the cost of a program. This type of a program saves the Commonwealth resources. And I can't think of anything more timely, more appropriate, or more needed in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania than the National Guard Youth Challenge Program. Thank you. Okay, at, at this time, again, it's my great pleasure. It's a, it's, it's a real treat to, to actually hear from a cadet 
uh, themselves. So uh, again, one of our uh, Maryland Ch Challenge Academy cadets, I'd like to call up Cadet Mohammed Wuznov uh, to, to give just his personal story about what this program meant uh, to his life. Cadet. First of all, good morning. My name is Cadet Wishnoff from Silver Springs, Maryland. I'm 16, and I came to Free State to put my life back on track and gain a sense of structure and discipline. Free State Challenge Academy has helped me in ways I could have never imagined. You know, waking up each morning and having like stuff to do each day and people telling me what to do has really pushed me to be a leader in myself. From the cadre telling me you know, be, lock it up in formation. And being just a big brother figure and helping me be the best person I could be to the case managers, giving me advice on my life decisions. To the camaraderie in each of our platoons. It helps me with my social skills, my people skills, and just gives me morals and tools I can use later in life. So Free State, I know will have a positive impact on my life from here to probably the rest of my life. Thank you. Great, thank, thank you so much for sharing your story. And that's, that's really what this program is all about. It, it, it's about giving our, our, our youth a second chance, giving them a dose of this military environment, the, uh, the discipline, and just giving them the tools to be able to succeed later in life. Um, the last person I'd like to introduce uh, is named as our first director of the Youth Challenge Academy for, for Pennsylvania. It's Brigadier General Stephen Radulski, um, who you'll see obviously as a uniform. He's one of our uh, senior leaders here in the Pennsylvania National Guard, but he's also a lifetime educator here in Pennsylvania. Uh, and, and, and Steve will be uh, shepherding this, this project through and getting us on track. Uh, and, and I'd like him to make a few remarks at this time. Steve? Well, good morning and thank you for being here. Obviously, I'd like to thank the members of the Pennsylvania Legislature and the Governor for supporting this in initiative. I'm incredibly pleased and honored to be given this opportunity by General Corelli uh, to be the first director of the Keystone State Challenge Academy. It is truly uh, Pennsylvania now joining the ranks of other states that have found so much success in this unique opportunity. We're not alone. And so over the course of the next several years, we're gonna see the Challenge Academy Academy lift up, take off, and influence the lives of all those that are a part of it. As we said, we're not alone. We anticipate going and meeting with the Maryland uh, Academy, the Virginia, New Jersey, West Virginia. We're going to be working closely with these other states to learn from them, to observe them, and to enable Pennsylvania to find success when it opens in a few years from now. We look forward to working with the Department of Education in Pennsylvania. This is an academy. It's a rigorous uh, mentorship residency program that is designed to influence youth, but we are still have to abide by all the state and federal regulations. And so we are an academy that will try to give these folks, these young cadets, a new opportunity. They will be surrounded by faculty, cadre, certified teachers and counselors, reach back mentors that will enable them uh, to improve academically and physically, to learn fiscal and emotional responsibility, to build esprit de corps in a team environment. They can expect a rigorous academic experience. They can build resilience through the various tools that we give them in order to monitor their emotions. And they will emerge ready to go on to a new path on life. This program is over 17 months long, five and a half months residency and a 12 month post-residency mentorship phase that is crucial to the students uh, further moving on into adulthood. It is a zero cost program to the student or the family. It costs them nothing to attend. And so we look forward to bringing this opportunity to help at-risk youth in the state of Pennsylvania and making the academy a reality in the, in the Commonwealth. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Again, I want to thank everyone uh, uh, for, for your attendance here. I want to thank everyone that, that put us in place to start this and make this announcement today. 
from, from the governor, the legislature, uh, our, our newly uh, crowned uh, advisory council here, and everyone else that's uh, helped us get to this point. Uh, we're very excited about this program. It's something that's been needed for a long time. We've been talking about it a long time, and we're just thrilled to be able to start it out and make the announcement today that, uh, that, that we're on this path to essentially in about two years be, a, be accepting students in our, our Youth Challenge Academy. At this time, I'd like to open it up for any uh, questions from the, uh, from the audience. Okay, we'll be available uh, later for questions. And again, I, I encourage you all to, uh, to come and, and talk to the cadets, to, to, to listen to their story. Again, one, one last shout out for the, for the Maryland cadets for their, for their program, for coming out here today. Uh, thank you very much, Maryland. All right, thank you for your attention and have a, have a great day.